Kobe pumps it forward at the end there. And Malouza chases after it. And Pinnell will try and see it out for a corner. And cleared by Ryan Sellers. Downfield only as far as Corn. Corn forward to Randell. Randell looks for options. There's an out wide to Malouza. But Gavin Hoyt on the overlap. Hoyt into the area, but Hoyt is offside. And uh, although Joanne Lupe puts the ball in the net, won't count because the flag has gone up very early. Just lining it up, and here comes Luke, crossing it towards the penalty spot. It's uh, headed partially clear, and it looks like Howells, well, it's a shout for a handball. It looked like it was his upper arm, and it's been waved away by the referee. And Pennell, Pennell plays it square to Kinane. Kinane knocks it forward, looking for, uh, well, it's picked up by Howells in central midfield. Howells we're knocking into the danger area for Paguma. Paguma is onside, he's at the byline. He's going to try and knock it back, and in the end, it's a good save by uh, Lewington. Brown hurling it forward looking for Rendell it's partially cleared by Glover only as far as Porter Porter will play it through to Hoyt Hoyt to Amaluza and uh, Amaluza now on the right hand side coming inside looking to uh, lay it off to Korn perhaps in fact he's going to shoot and it's deflected straight into the par for Snedker I mean just created a bit more of an atmosphere than we've got here at the moment where you can really hear the shouts of every individual player. As a Porter picks up the ball on edge, edge of the area, thinks about shooting, could be a chance here for Sam Korn, and it's a goal! It's a brilliant volley there by Sam Korn to make it 1-0 to Mason. Great cross there by George Porter. And uh, Rendell left it for Korn. Saw him there, uh, probably gave him a shout, you would think, and Korn volleys in for Mason. Score, it was Sam Korn. Uh, I think I'm right in saying he was the only player that scored a penalty in the shootout on the... So it was Rendell, excuse me. Ben just correcting me there. Here's Rendell on the far side now. And uh, Rendell putting a cross in. In fact, it's almost a sort of cross-come shot. Deemed it. Here's Luke for Maidstone into the area. Could be a chance for Brown here. Brown puts on his right foot and Brown scores. And it's 2 0 for Maidstone. Two goals in a minute. The inquest is already going on in the uh, Hemel defence there, but uh, instant punch to the gut there. After Sam Korn had uh, volleyed Maidstone in front. Now Rendell challenging with the Kinaya who brought Porter with a flick header into Luke. Luke has got a chance to shoot. He does shoot. He had Amaluza just outside and is saying to him why didn't you lay it off and uh, Luke I think as, uh, Jeffrey Boycott used to say his eyes lit up when he saw that one and Snecker will knock it downfield looking for Cole I think it is on the far side good header again by uh, L again the uh, similarities with Lee Shearer he, he doesn't just look like him he plays like him as well and as, uh, Porter might intercept it here for Mason could be a chance it's a uh, Three on three here, three on four now. Porter has got uh, Amaluza outside. Amaluza, edge of the area. Three men in front of him, drags it one side, gets to the byline, keeps it in. Snek has committed himself. Chance to cross for Amaluza. Gets it towards the far post. Luke lurking at the far post. Luke shoots and Luke scores. And it is 3 0 to Maidstone here. Three goals in little more than five minutes here for the Stone. Luke scoring on his debut and, and it is a case of history repeating itself for uh, Hemel so they conceded three first half goals I believe to Eastbourne on Saturday last week and they've done exactly the same here here's Glover trying to pull something back could be a chance here not been cleared yet Ajayi picks it up there's a good save by uh, Lewington at his near post and for uh, Maidstone at the expense of a throw and here's Howells we said earlier, the most experienced player in the Hemel lineup. He was part of that Luton Town squad that won promotion from the National League when John Steele was manager in 2014-15. Uh, Here's Porter for Maidstone. Porter breaking down the right now. Amaluza. Amaluza streaming forward. And he's got Rendell in the box if he wants him. He might not need him. Could come for Luke. And Luke produces another good save from uh, Stedker. I think that one might just have been going over. But uh, Snecker taking no chances, and uh, that will go out of play for a Mason corner. And you have to say at the moment, 
Maidstone are absolutely rampant here. Luke is going to take it. Love train formation. Six men in the area. Comes to Rendell. Back flick. Tries to get it uh, across the six-yard box. It Hemel, you would think, will need to score the first goal if they're uh, going to make any kind of attempt at a comeback in this second half. Is uh, Justin Amaluza breaking free for Maidstone down the right-hand side. Woodsy Arroy just overhit that. He had Rendell in. It's a free kick to Maidstone. And it looks like it's going to be Elul that takes it. He's going to knock it towards the uh, right-hand flank where it'll be knocked down into the path of Luque. Luque thinks about shooting for a second there. Again, thinks about shooting, does shoot, and it just is clawed wide there by uh, Snedker. He's already made a very good save from uh, Luque in the first half. And for a moment, it looked like that was going to just creep in at the far post. As it... it Sellers left-footed towards the uh, far post and uh, Lewington had to rub a claw at that. Thought he was under a bit of pressure there from uh, Kinane. Nothing illegal as far as the referee is concerned. Paguma will knock it back into the danger area. Alakobi will head it clear and it'll go out of play. Well, just questioning the referee. Uh, it's something to do with protocol here that uh, after it's been handled by a member of the crowd, perhaps they have to use a different ball. Not too sure how that one works, but here's Porter in any case. Trying to knock it inside for Amaluza. It'll be picked up by Kinane. Only as far as Brown... Heads it back to Kinane. Kinane tries to play it forward to Bateman. Bateman turns. He's got three defenders around him. Does well to uh, get it to Balaraba. And uh, Balaraba now into the area. Good run by him. And uh, that, I think, is the first save that Chris Lewington's made this afternoon. And it's earned them a corner here. Sellers will take towards the uh, far post. And ooh, nearly creeps in there. And a good save in the end by Lewington. Snedker, right-footed downfield, looking for a Bateman. Elakobi wins the header. Amaluza will pick it up on the right-hand side for Maidstone. Rides one challenge. It's going to get goal side. As, oh, he's into the area here, Amaluza. He's ridden a challenge. Oh, and it's just gone past the far post. A uh, player warming up on the far side. Or uh, he might just be changing shirt, actually. So Maidstone attempting to clear it. So yeah, number 14 is the sub that came on. Teddy Perkins for Hemel. Getting his first touch there. As a Hemel, it seems temporarily down to 10, are they? Making a change on the far side. Could be a chance here for Porter. Porter, edge of the area. Porter with a shot well saved there by uh, Snedker. And it has gone out for a corner. And uh, Porter sort of putting his head in his hands. Takes a free kick himself, but he immediately gives it away. And now Odesanya picks it up for Maidstone to Amaluza, edge of the area. Thinks about shooting. Great ball to Porter. Porter across to Randall. And it, oh, it's the post. Luke at the far post. Rendell is looking at Porter, wondering what happened there. And now Pennell decides to take it. And uh, Sellers tries to think about putting a cross in. Does come in. Could be a chance here for Alaraba. Good shot there by Alaraba. And that's one back for Hemel. A very well taken goal there by the uh, Hemel Hempstead number 10. And uh, there is life in this game yet here. Maidstone 3. Hemel Hempstead 1 there. And uh, say it's been a fairly quiet main stand here for most of this game. It's come to life a bit in the last few minutes or so. As uh, Rendell knocks the ball out of play can't keep it under control and Hemel will get a throw in and Maidstone won't be too concerned as long as the throw-ins are that deep it's uh, Korn will knock it forward looking for Olatade to get his first touch Olatade tussling with Luke Pennell does well there Ibrahim Olatade he's going to try and put the ball into the air it's going to go all the way across and it's going to go in it's, it's a goal surely for Maidstone and it's Noah Chesmain making it 4-1 and surely killing off that uh, Hemel revival and the ball absolutely pinballing around there. I wasn't sure if it went in from uh, the initial effort, but certainly Noah Chesmain it was that uh, made certain with the second attempt. It seemed to hit the bar and come down. 
And um, we'll have to see from the replay whether it was Chesmain or uh, somebody else that got the final touch there. But uh, certainly Chesmain with a follow-up. And uh, sort of adding insult to injury here, really, that uh, he's got to go and fetch the ball in stoppage time. And here's uh, Bellaraba. Someone in the main stand is shouting out the words, done you like a kipper, for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. But, uh, anyway, good challenge there by Richefond to uh, win the ball back for Maidstone. And uh, that will be the full-time whistle. So a very comprehensive win for Maidstone. The, uh, well, someone is in a Hemel tie is shouting, done you like a kipper there. I don't know why, really. I don't think Hemel can have any complaints about the uh, margin of victory. 4-1 here for Maidstone.